I'm here with Daniel Alverson, um, who yesterday was, will be inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Daniel. Uh, big moment here in Ottawa. Congratulations to you and your family. Uh, we'll Thank take you. calls from, or we'll take questions uh, from the participants. Right now it's Ian and Murray and CTV. I think Wayne Scanlon's gonna join us too. Uh, so Ian, you have your hand up. Uh, let's go to you first uh, and we'll go from there. Daniel, I don't know if you wanna open with any words to start. I can, yes, for sure. Uh, well, thanks for joining this call today, obviously. Uh, it's been uh, uh, surreal waking up this morning and thinking about what happened, uh, uh, you know, last night in, in uh, uh, Swedish time, uh, getting the call from the Hall of Fame. And uh, um, obviously extremely honored. Uh, and to be able to go in with the Sedins, uh, Luongo and... and Rita as well, uh, 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 and Carnegie. Uh, it will be, you know, an incredible weekend uh, in Toronto in November, and uh, I'm super proud. And uh, uh, yeah, that's that's it. Okay, thanks, Daniel. Uh, first, we'll go to Ian Mendez from the Athletic. All right. Uh, hope, hope you have me, uh, Alfie. I do. I do. Okay. Hey, listen, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Um, I, I got a couple of questions for you here. Um, I guess maybe first of all, like what, Alfie, what do you think is the significance uh, for the senators as a franchise to, you know, to finally have somebody who spent the bulk of his career and his prime with the team to, uh, to make the hall of fame. Uh, I think anytime there is a first, uh, 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 it makes uh, it, it stands out. Um, you know, first time us making the playoffs, uh, first time winning a playoff series, first time going to Stanley Cup final. I think the fans that's been around the team, uh, those are things that stand out. Uh, and it's the same thing with this. Uh, you know, I, I'm I'm obviously extremely proud and honored to be included uh, into the Hall of Fame, and I I, I I feel the fans and the organization feels the same way now. So. Uh, uh, it's a uh, it's a big milestone kind of uh, uh, and, and validation that you know we, we did have a really good team for for a lot of years and uh, uh, you know obviously I've benefited from that. Uh, you know I think uh, one of the probably the cool things is you, you probably on a, on a night like last night you hear from a lot of people. Um, could you maybe share with us some some texts or phone calls you got from some people that uh, maybe really touched you uh, last night? Yeah. Uh, it, it's it's overwhelming uh, the, the responses that that uh, I've gotten. Uh, it, it's it's been from uh, uh, everybody, coaches uh, I've had uh, in my youth to teammates and uh, staff and and whatnot throughout. Uh, ex uh, you know national team players I've played with and uh, a few of the Hall of Famers uh, from Sweden as well as reached out. So that it, it's just overwhelming. I don't know if I can. There's one that really stands out uh, more than the other. I appreciate all of them, and uh, uh, it, it's it's a lot to take in. Uh, one more for me for now. Um, uh, Ten years ago, you did the intro speech. You did a little video for Matt Sundin on his induction night, and I'm just wondering if you uh, thought about who might do the same thing for you uh, in November. No, I haven't uh, at all. Uh, you know, I was happy to do it for Matt's uh, when they asked me. Uh, he was one of the guys, he came into the league uh, a few years before me. Uh, he was established uh, with the national team already and was one of the guys I looked up to. And uh, uh, I thought he always uh, handled himself, uh, himself extremely well on and off the ice. Uh, and once you get to know him too, uh, he's just a super guy. Uh, so, uh, you know, that was an honor for me to do that for him. And uh, he he's, uh, uh, you know, one of the biggest uh, Hockey players Sweden never produced, if not the biggest. Can you take us through the night a little bit last night, Alfie? I know Eric Carlson, uh, you know, posted on Instagram that uh, that he was with you to share the moment. Can you just maybe give us a little sense of kind of what that night was like uh, for you last night at home? Yeah, we uh, Eric came over. Uh, you know, he he uh, uh, has a house here. We're only I don't know, 10, 15 minutes uh, apart. Uh, so he came over, I had another childhood friend uh, that I played a lot of hockey with growing up 
and uh, obviously my family. And we were kind of just chatting. I, you know, I wanted a few people around if it did happen. And uh, we were sitting, having a good time, talking memories and, and, and whatnot. Uh, and then, you know, after eight o'clock, it's like, oh, my God, I, it probably won't happen. So uh, it's okay. We're still having a good time here. And then all of a sudden the phone rang and my wife got it and uh, didn't know who it was and, you know, asked them, who's who's calling? Uh, and they said it was from the Hockey Hall of Fame. And um, he's like, oh, you wouldn't have called if it wasn't the Hockey, or you wouldn't have, he wouldn't have answered if it wasn't the Hockey Hall of Fame. Uh, and we were just joking about it a little bit. But it, it was obviously uh, really... Uh, surreal almost that it, it, it is happening and I think normally the last few years anyway I've kind of if it happens it happens I haven't made a big deal out of it uh, I hadn't set aside the evening for you know sitting by the phone but I think with the uh, the movement uh, Alfie to the hall uh, you know the weeks leading up to this kind of uh, up the ante a little bit in terms of anticipation and uh interest and you know wherever I went uh, in Ottawa uh, people always said you think you're going to get in and you know friends and and stuff like that so uh, it was it was more uh, of anticipation I think for me coming in this time than than normal so uh, obviously getting that call and then uh, uh, doing a few of the media and then we had a few beers after that and you know set up uh, fairly late and and just you know, told all stories. So it was, uh, it was kind of low key, but at the same time, a fantastic, perfect evening, I'd say. Um, you know, you mentioned the Alfie to the Hall uh, movement there, and I know you're you're not a huge social media guy, but you, you know, I know you have a Twitter account and that stuff. Um, yeah. Can you give us a sense of like, were you paying attention to that? Did you see like, was your timeline like flooded with the just that hashtag Alfie to the Hall? It was a bit. Uh, I, I don't go on every day uh, on social media, but. Uh, you know, probably more than I normally would, because uh, I think they did a fantastic job. I know Corey and Stephen, who, who spearheaded this. Uh, uh, I haven't met them personally. I, I look forward to doing that actually, but they 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 did a, such a professional job, and you can tell how much uh, effort and uh, uh, time they must have put into this. Uh, I know Craig. Uh, uh, was able to you know help them with the how to print it and the social media serial leader as well uh, so it, it was really appreciated and, and they did such a good job that you know uh, I, th I think for, say, if I didn't get in it wouldn't have killed me because then you know maybe I can look forward to another campaign next year because it is pretty flattering thank you Ian uh, next Daniel will go to uh, CTV news in Ottawa Congratulations, Daniel, and thanks for doing this. Um, My pleasure. I'm going to pick up a little bit of what Ian was talking about, about the connection to the community, and, and not a hockey question, but more a, a community involvement question. And do, do you know or how do you appreciate how, how beloved you are in this community and what it, it means for the fans that this has happened? And I just wonder, what would be your message to the fans who uh, were celebrating with you yesterday and today uh, that you're going to the Hockey Hall of Fame? Well, it will be a big thank you, uh, obviously, for the support uh, uh, during this campaign the last few weeks, but also throughout my career. Um, uh, you know, you don't control who you get drafted by, uh, but I, I think the uh, Ottawa uh, was the perfect fit for me as, as a person. Uh, it's, it's not a, uh, one of the major cities, but uh, it's... it's uh, a good side city, similar to what I grew up in, in here in Sweden, so I could relate fairly quickly, and uh, uh, you know, always felt at home in Ottawa from the beginning. And um, I, th I think the uh, the relationship obviously grew over time, it, it, uh, uh, and it was organic from both sides. Uh, um, you know, from me getting involved in the community more and more throughout my career. Uh, which we hadn't done in in, uh, in Sweden here before to, to that extent at all, where you did a lot of community work and help causes uh, uh, that needed help and, and charities. So uh, Ottawa taught me that, and then you know you see that by being a public person, you can have a, a very very positive impact on uh, uh, on stuff like that. And and 
uh, I think that's, you know, really rewarding. Uh, my dad always said that just because you're a really good hockey player doesn't mean you're a great person. You still got to be a great person. And, uh, you know, I was taught very good values, I think, from, from my parents. And uh, that's kind of been uh, uh, following me since. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. All right, thanks, John. I see, John, do you need to follow up there for TV? Or are you okay? I'm good, thank you. Okay, great. Next, we'll move to uh, Wayne Scanlon from Sportsnet. Should be good to go, Wayne. Hi, Daniel. Congratulations. Thank you, Wayne. Uh, how's the family doing today? Yeah, we're, we're great. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, uh, it was a long night, but a fun night. So uh, we're, we're all good today. Uh, and, you know, obviously almost feels uh, surreal. I wondered, you know, you've talked a lot about the fans and the connection with the community here. But, you know, we've all noticed how the, the organization hasn't always been, you know, connected to you in the last several years. And we don't need to go into that in a great deal. But what does it mean to reconnect in some way and to have them officially support this bid and what does it mean for the future of Daniel Alfredson and the Ottawa Senators? Yeah, who, who knows? I mean, I, I, I've said a couple of times uh, uh, that I'm open to talking to uh, uh, to the team about if there is a chance to work together again. Uh, it hasn't been, you know, uh, on the forefront, but uh, with the changes to the organization, I think there there's more openings now. Uh, you know, when I left uh, for Detroit, I think it, it it wasn't the best relationship. I think Brian Murray uh, uh, really helped make that possible for me to come back and work for the team again and retire as an Ottawa center, which uh, I think healed a lot of wounds. But we still weren't at the stage where, you know, it, it was an open relationship. Um, uh, but that that's life sometimes. And... Uh, you know, here we are today, and uh, uh, it, it's it's different, and uh, uh, I'm very happy that it is that way. And and you're not sure what capacity that might be if you did officially reconnect, whether it might be in the coaching realm or hockey development mm -hmm. or management. No, I don't. Uh, to be honest, uh, uh, you know, before uh, it's always been, you know, I don't want it to be too time consuming. Uh, with the young family, but now, you know, the kids are getting older and older and, uh, uh, you know, there's, there's a different perspective on anything now than it was five years ago, I'd say. So uh, who knows uh, uh, what, what the future is going to bring, but uh, uh, I would be open to talking and then, and seeing if, uh, you know, there is a fit from both sides at, at some point for sure. Thanks, Daniel. Thanks, Wayne. Wayne, do you need another one? I, I know you're a little late getting on based on my East Coast technological skills. <laughs> That's good. I'm pretty good. I was on there yesterday and had my own issues uh, trying to get a question in on my old landline. It wasn't really cooperating, but I, uh, I did was able to listen to Daniel yesterday, and maybe I can you know, get from you the earlier parts of this dialogue, but I should be okay. Thank you. 100%. Well, I will ask one then and be asked to Murray Pam, because whatever, because Murray and us are not collaborating here on audio. So Daniel, he was hoping to ask you about, uh, as part of your career, some of the people you think about at times like this, your influences, your influences and, and as coaches, your mentors, and maybe your sounding boards, how you kind of think about them over the course of time and maybe who over the course of your uh, likely and, and, and historical career were those people for you and why were they, why were they valuable? Yeah, there's, there's quite a few people, you know, uh, my dad, he started coaching at a young age, uh, and his his the coaches around him too, uh, Tommy and and Ben, who had us the first seven years, and we were not very good in the beginning. We would lose 10, 15, one, uh, uh, but they always made it fun. Uh, and, and then the other youth coaches, Dick Carlson, was one I had in junior, uh, uh, and I just remember it was very open. It was very uh, you were allowed to be creative, and I think that benefited me a lot uh, because I was, you know, 
a late bloomer in that way. I had puberty later than most, and uh, but I still loved playing, and I was allowed to play, you know, my style of game. They didn't try to take that away, and uh, uh, but the biggest is probably mom and dad, uh, the work ethic they installed. Uh, that's the biggest reason why I was able to uh, make it to the NHL. Uh, I didn't take the easy route, but I. I put a lot of time and effort in, and I loved training. I was good at it, uh, and uh, that's how I was able to stand out a little bit more than uh, some of my peers here in Sweden growing up. Um, and then the coach, Jacques Martin, I think had a big impact on us, uh, turning things around for the organization, uh, making it into a, a very consistent, good hockey team. And uh, uh, Brian Murray, uh, I, th I think uh, a little bit of different style of coaching than shock, a more offensive. I found I, I, I excelled even more. And uh, uh, obviously we had a very good team, good line mates. Uh, and, and those years were probably the most fun I had in, 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 in my career as, as a pro, where we, we, uh, uh, could play an offensive style and we could go out and we knew we were going to score four or five goals every game. And, uh, you know, that's not going to last forever, but when, when we did, it was a lot of fun. And then there's also a lot of background workers, uh, uh staff, you know, equipment guys, and, and, and that, that helps you when, when the times are tough, uh, you know, cause when you retire now, when you're celebrated, uh, uh Everybody looks at the good stuff, but there's also been years where it's been tough, where I thought about retiring and to have the staff and, and people around that, you know, makes it fun to come to the rink anyway. And you feel, uh, you feel good uh, uh, about stuff off the ice and uh, they, they've had a huge impact. So it's, uh, it's a lot of people that, that make, po make a career possible. And, uh, uh, you know, they, they're a big part of uh, this honor I'm receiving now. Great. Well, thanks, Daniel. I see no other hands raised, uh, and we've come to learn that the, the same engaging and thoughtful answers you've always uh, shown during the career. So thank you so much. And on behalf of kind of Ottawa to everybody else, congratulations. We look forward to seeing you when you're back in the nation's capital. Do you know, I, I will steal that question selfishly and for the group. When do you, when do you guys expect to be back in Ottawa? Uh, we're back early August. Uh, so we just around six weeks. Uh, we're, we're here in Sweden. Uh, it is, it's, it's, you know, great to be back here too. Uh, you know, it's been uh, three years since the whole family has been back and, uh, uh, you know, the kids really missed it to see their cousins and, and family. And, uh, so it's great to, to come here for, uh, for the summer and, uh, you know, uh, but always we look back, look forward to come back to Ottawa as well. Great. Well, thank you. Congratulations from all of us. Uh, and for those on this call, Daniel's going to join yeah. TSN 1200 in Ottawa on the radio here shortly, right after this call. So thank you for joining on short notice. Big Daniel, thanks a bunch. Uh, congrats. Yeah. And we'll talk soon. And thanks, Brian. And thanks, yeah. everybody. I uh, really appreciate it.